Hi there, it's Connie from Say It With Simplicity, and I'm back with you today for another tutorial. If you're new to my channel, I offer Silhouette Studio tutorials, and I invite you to look around at some of the other videos that I've done. And if you've been to my channel before, welcome back. I'm going to share with you a different kind of video today and that is to create an SVG in Adobe Illustrator. Now it's not my intention to get into um, different aspects of different programs about which one is best for creating SVG files or anything like that. I just wanted to take you through using Adobe Illustrator because I know that when I got started at Adobe Illustrator, I looked at all these tools and all these panels and the different things, and it was overwhelming to me. And I think that it probably is to a lot of other people, too. And so what I wanted to do was share this tutorial with you to maybe take away a little bit of that intimidation factor about getting started with a new program and you know maybe help you to realize that you know we all start out looking at these things with with new eyes and maybe a little bit of fear and once you get in there and you start um, you know, using it and start practicing with it. It gets easier and easier with each skill that you learn. And there really isn't anything that you can break or, um, you know, you could mess up. And if you make a mistake, you certainly can learn something from it. So I, you know, just wanted to share this with you in hopes that maybe you will think about getting started with um, a program that you can use as a tool maybe to create some passive income by having an Etsy shop. Um, Adobe Illustrator has the ability to export the different file types that you see when you go shopping um, for files for your cutting machine. And so that's my whole purpose in presenting this tutorial for you. And it's certainly not the only program out there. Inkscape is a free program that can be used um, to create SVG files. And of course, you know, I do quite a bit of work in Silhouette Studio Business Edition, and that's another place where you can use um, the software, um, a very powerful software at that, to create things that you can use across your various machines. And I mean, even if you don't, decide to sell any files, you can certainly save those on your computer to be used at a later time. So let's get started by going up here to this um, panel and here you have the type tool and you see that if you mouse over that and you click on it, you come over here to your design space and or your artboard, I guess. I Sometimes I get mixed up. Okay, let's see. Cricut is a design space. Silhouette Studio is Silhouette Studio. Um, this is an artboard here. And so I'm going to, um, you know, you have this little bar with a little arrow, and if you click on that with your mouse, you get a default text that's highlighted in black, and now you can type any word that you want. So let's type gather. And I'm going to go back here to my direct selection tool, and I'm going to drag that out. And wow, isn't that exciting? Note the sarcasm there. I'm going to use a script font for this because I think it would be a lot prettier than this default font, don't you? And so I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to use this Atlanta regular. Okay, and now that's looking really nice. Um, one of the things when, you, when you're looking at design, sometimes they add these lovely glyphs to your um, designs, and so I want to change this up a bit and make it a little more elegant by adding some flourish. So let's do that. I'm going to double click on that, and I'm going to highlight the G. And now 
that takes me to these little glyphs down here if I mouse over this blue area and I'm going to choose one that goes before the G and that's going to add it to it. Now the other place you can go to access your glyphs is to type and glyphs and so that's just another way this is a little bit more of a shortcut let's go here to the R again when I mouse over this highlighted area it's going to take me to the different options and I'm going to choose this one and that's going to add the glyph to my end letter and now that design's looking a lot better but this still is not an SVG file and so this is just text and you can see that by the fact that it's in a text box it has this blue underline under it and so I'm going to go to this properties panel here and I'm going to click on create outlines and that's going to convert that and it even says so if you mouse over it right here convert the selected text to paths so let's create the outlines and now if you zoom in here we can see that you have um, some letters with a blue outline and all the editing nodes that go along with it but you have these overlaps now if you sent this to Silhouette Studio these would cut right through each other and so you what you would do in Silhouette Studio is to weld them or what you would do in Cricut Design Space is to weld them and here in Adobe Illustrator we have this pathfinder and you have these two little boxes that look like they're welded together or two squares that are welded together and if I click to unite that it's going to make a compound shape and so now when I do that you can see that it has taken those overlaps away and now it's all one continuous flowing text so let's zoom out here a little bit I can press the control and the minus button on my keyboard to zoom out and now I have my file created but I haven't exported it yet so I'm going to go up to file and I can export that and I can export it as um, my different file types um, PNG DXF which you'd use in Silhouette Studio Basic um, the JPEG and um, but what I'm going to do Let's cancel out of that. I'm going to save as an SVG and I'm going to call it first SVG so really I'm just overwriting a file that I have right here already and let's click on save and it brings me to my options I'm just going to click OK. And now, if I go over to Silhouette Studio, let's go to File, Merge, and I can see my first SVG here. I'm going to open it, and there I have it. If I send this to my, or um, click on send to send it to my send panel, you can see that it has all the cut outline that it needs to be cut out of a piece of vinyl for a stencil or whatever other purpose that you have for it. And really guys, it is that simple to create that SVG file in Adobe Illustrator. So, I hope that if you are thinking about Illustrator and want to get started with it, that you will um, go ahead and do it, because if I can do it, anybody can do it. And, um, you know, just explore some of the tools. There are some really wonderful um, tutorials out there. I like Skillshare. 
Um, there's other places, you know, just even on YouTube itself that you can can use um, for, you know, tutorials. But I just wanted to share with you how you can get started in using this for a simple text SVG. And if you um, like this video, I invite you to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments or questions that you have in the box below. And I hope that you'll um, come back again for more Silhouette Studio tutorials or Adobe Illustrator tutorials. And I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.